Yeah. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. I'm at the SAP TechEd and Decode event with Severin Kaizu, Dr. Severin Kaizu, isn't it? Yes, cool. Hi. So you are with SK Solutions? Yes, I'm the CEO and inventor of SK Solutions, founder of the company. We uh, leverage the Internet of Things here to provide the world's most advanced anti-collision system of everything. So you say it's an anti-collision system that you do and you're using Internet of Things technologies. Uh, how does that work? What, what kind of collisions are you avoiding where and what technologies are you using to make the, to, to avoid those collisions? Yeah, we, we embed a lot of different sensors in the vehicles. It could be a crane, a car, a truck. Everything's moving. We embed some sensors uh, to get the position, the speed, the motion, the uh, location, all those information in real time will be sent in the embedded computer. Each embedded computer will process in real time the, avoid, the collision avoidance algorithm to avoid the collision. Then all those data will go to the cloud using SAP ESP streaming uh, event streaming processing going on the cloud on HANA platform where we leverage the capability of real time and, and um, of HANA to do uh, analytics and predictive. So how real time is it really? I mean, if, if, if two cranes are about to crash into each other, example, yeah. can you actually avoid that happening? Absolutely, we do that in real time. We talk about millisecond. That's, the, that's why we are working at three levels. The first level is the embedded layer. At the embedded layer, we talk about few milliseconds in terms of real time. Then we have a second layer, the fog layer site management level. At that level, we talk about, let's say, a uh, few hundred milliseconds. Then we have the cloud level on HANA platform. We talk about less than a second. OK, and so avoiding cranes banging into each other is, is obviously great because these are big, expensive machines. But what about uh, avoiding people being hit or cars or trucks on site hitting each other? Yes, absolutely. If you have been, if you have seen the Sibuka uh, keynote, for example, Steve was wearing a helmet. Inside this helmet, there is an RFID tag. That means we have we detect everybody on the site. All the people are tracked in real time on the site. That means the system will avoid automatically the collision between people and asset and asset to asset. So the, the RFID tag in people's in in workers' helmets, for example, means you know where everyone is on site at any one time? Yes, we know the location in real time. We reach some uh, very high accuracy, like uh, about uh, 10 centimeters accuracy. 10 centimeters 10 accuracy? Centimeters accuracy, yes. Incredible. In real time, yeah. Wow. We leverage uh, a technology coming from our partner, Zebra, Zebra Technology, who provide such uh, RFID tag, yeah. And, okay, h how well does this scale? I mean, building sites would have maybe five cranes and... Oh, no, it <laughs> depends. You know, for example, in Dubai, we are based, our headquarters is based in Dubai. Dubai is, uh, let's say, the capital of the cranes, I can say like that. The average site in Dubai is about 20 cranes. 20? 20. And today we are running the biggest the world's biggest site using our technology today in Saudi Arabia, where we have 250 cranes in the same location. 250 cranes in one building site? One building site. It's the biggest building site in the world. And how many workers? 30,000 people every day working there. That's, that's incredible. Are you doing more than just building sites? Of course. The building site has been our first lesson market. Today we are doing in the mining, we are working in the mining sector, the port sector, airport, oil and gas, yes, and the manufacturing as well. Fantastic. Severin, that's been great. Thanks a million for talking to us.